Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, today is something fun. I have the Iashin E120 helicopter. It's new on the market and it's designed to help you fly RC helicopters because it has optical flow right here. Also has some lights on it that looks pretty cool at night. Has four blades. Normally you get helicopters RC, beginner ones, they only have like three blades. This one's got four blades because it is designed after the real thing. You can actually see the name on it right here, a BO105. It does come with a controller and it does come with batteries. The batteries are pretty cool because you just plug them into USB and you're all set and they just pop out like this. So when you want to go fly, you just put a battery in and if you want to know how much power you have left, there's a little button that you press on the bottom and it tells you how much power is left by the number of lights you see. Now you've probably noticed already that it is highly detailed. Normally when you pay very little for an RC helicopter, they're not highly detailed. They're very plain looking. This one's highly detailed. I think a lot of people would just buy it for the sheer fact of putting it on their mantle, never flying it because it looks so darn good. But if you do fly it, it is made out of crash resistant plastic. That's what they say. I have flown this indoors and it's extremely stable. I'll show you in the video. And if it drifts in any sort of fashion, you have little trim controls on your controller. Also on the controller, just to show you now, they have a beginner button here, take off and land. You press that once, it goes up, press it again, it comes down and lands. And you have three speeds over here. I've already made use of the speeds you'll see it in this video you put it on speed one when flying indoors outdoors you know it's a little breezy today i could probably leave it on speed one but if it's really windy you got to put it on speed number three or two and you'll see it actually works in the wind but don't expect a great great speed when flying directly into the wind because it's not designed for that it's it's designed for beginners so final things to say about this really quick uh the range between the controller and the helicopter is 100 meters i'll put what that is in feet below the flight time on here is 15 minutes that's just ridiculous and if you buy this you will find that 15 minutes is pretty darn accurate it flies for an awfully long time all right let's get into this video let me take it for a flight here in the backyard i might even take it out of my front yard then i'll show you some footage i already took of it flying indoors it's really awesome to fly indoors if you cannot fly this helicopter there is something wrong with you it is so easy to fly and then i'm going to show you some fun video of flying it out with my friends introducing it to them for the first time and they all thought it was fantastic and they all want one and you'll see that video as well so here we go so to fly this helicopter it's pretty simple take your remote and power it on there we go we get a little beep next take your helicopter on the bottom, you have a button, a power button. Press it once, twice, once, twice. Hold it down, all the lights light up, and it should be ready to go. Put this down. Now your blades and your props are not gonna do anything because this and this is not connected until you do this. Now that beep means this has to start working and we're ready to fly. So what I suggest is take the blades and make, you know, make them into an X so everything is good, it's all set to go. Now you have a choice, you can hit this button here, the beginner button to take off and it'll go straight up or you can hit uh, pull the joysticks down and in or down and out and it will work. So I'm gonna hit this little button but just move out of the way because this is gonna chop my eyebrows if I stay this close. So let me hop back here and <laughs> here we go, I'm just gonna hit the button. There we go. She's going up. There she goes. So you see, even with that, having the helicopter fly up and over me, it's pretty darn simple. It flies so nice. Little red tail light on the back. I doubt if you could see it in the camera, but is it ever bright when I'm looking at it with the GoPro here? I'm gonna bring that closer. Look at that. Look at that tail light. Nice red, bright red. And in the front, there's a light too. Let me bring it around. I'll yaw it. You see the white light in the front? There it is right down there. All right, so as mentioned, it has optical flow and it will just drift with the breeze in your backyard. So the wind is blowing it off to the side. I could probably blow it myself. <laughs> see, I'm blowing it that way. Good technology nowadays in the helicopters. That's why I say, if you can't fly this, give it to your grandma because your grandma can definitely fly it. No problem, no issues. Nice helicopter to fly it if you want to uh, take it on up. Let's see, let's go over here. And if you want to take it on up, she will go quite high. Just make sure you don't get it caught in the wind. There we are over there. I'm still on level one or speed level one. So that means, you know, it's sort of like a breeze is okay. But if it gets too windy, you got to put it on speed level three. So here, let me show you the speeds really quick. What I mean about speeds, bring it down. So here we go. I'm going to stand right here. Speed level one. There we go. There's forward and there's reverse you can see not very fast and now we're going to go speed level two here we go faster much better that's what a lot of people would prefer and speed level three 
Let's gun it. There we go. Zoom. Over the GoPro and then back. You'll notice it maintains its height so that uh, if it's really low to the ground, it shouldn't bang into the ground. Let's put it back on speed level. I'll put it on two. I like two. Bring it over here and catch it out of the sky and then just hit the down arrow like that. And the props will stop and you're all set to fly indoors or elsewhere. All right, I'm in the front yard now and I've got a lot more room to fly this thing. Uh, here, let me see if I can take off from my hand. There is a lot of wind blowing on my back, but I should be able to do this. So there's the takeoff button. I'm just going to hold it in my hand and we'll see what happens. Here we go. I'm going to hit the takeoff button. There we go. And release it. There we are. Okay, I'm going to put it on speed number three. Fly it out here because it's bigger area, more wind. There we go. Fly it around the ground. Nice. And uh, let's see, any cars coming? No, let's take it over there. We're gonna drive it down the street a bit. Take down the street and whip it down this way, coming around in a corner. And coming back. There we go. Zoom past. Whoa, missed. Oh, whoa, whoa. did you see that? I tried to put the brakes on before it hit the Jeep just in time. Uh, turn you off. There we go. Let me show you some video flying this indoors. And now a quick indoor flight. How does it work? So I do have battery power remaining. Let me just turn this on. I've got how many lights? I've got three lights remaining. That's great. Spread the props out. Nice. Power this on. Up, down, and we're set to go. I have full control over everything. It's currently on high rates. Make sure you're on the low rates for indoors. There we go. And uh, down and out, and here we go. Take it up. And let's go forward. Past the light fixtures. Get below the wall, and bring it over here. And then back over this way. All right, now a lot of you will probably want to see how it hovers indoors, so let's try it. I haven't tried it myself, so if there's enough light in here for the optical flow to work, it's not the greatest, but look, you could sort of see it in the front that uh, it's staying pretty darn still. So that's pretty good. I'm doing nothing. I'm walking here, just looking at it, holding this like this. Anything could happen and go wrong. Let me get behind it, bring it down a little bit, and we're going to go forward. There we go, going through this little doorway. And I whip around the house quickly, going this way, this way, this way. We can go sideways any way we want. Go down the hall, smash into my little banister and bring it back. Let's go this way. Uh, the blades are flexible so you can bang into things. Just try not to mark up your walls. And then come on all the way over here. We got some light happening, so I'm just going to land it down here and go down. There we are. She is done for an indoor flight. Now, every time I make these videos, someone always asks, hey, I want to make an FPV helicopter or put a camera on it. So I'm going to try putting a camera on it. I've got some double-sided tape here. I'll just stick it right over where the battery is. I think that'll work. And then I'll just peel off the tape. I have an Insta360 Go camera here. It's not too heavy. I think it can lift it. I could be wrong. We're going to find out. And then stick the camera on here like that. It just sticks on really nice. And uh, let's see. Oh, I put the tape over the battery so I can't power it on. Hang on a sec. Let me power all this on first. That would make more sense. Okay, that's on. Power on the battery. And put the tape on there again. And then take the camera. Stick the camera on. I'm going to turn it on and we'll see if it can even lift it. I don't know if it can. It's going to be hard to control. I'll put it in high speed. but And I'll use the joysticks down and out. Ho, ho, ho. See, here we go. We should have some video. Oh, it lifts it, no problem. Look at that, and it's quite stable. Look at this. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's probably really vibrating, which you see in the image, but I'm just surprised it actually lifts it so nicely. Like it's effortless. So you could put a little camera on this thing and fly it around. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's fly it around my backyard here. Maybe when I'm flying forward, there's less vibrations. Come back this way. I'm low to the ground, maybe I should be up higher. That way you'll get a better video of me. Put it way up here. There you go. Whoa, miss the trees, miss the trees. There we go. That's pretty cool. Here, let me show you what it looks like up in the air. I'm going to point it uh, to my neighbors over there and take it up. 
see if there's any video. Go through the trees. Don't want to lose my Insta360 camera, so I have to be careful here. Oh, it's up in the wind now. But there we go. Oh, it's so high. I got to get it, bring it down. There we go. It's bouncing around in the wind up there. Bring it over here. And there we go. Cool. So I'm surprised that worked, but uh, that's pretty neat. Look at how detailed that is. That's the that is, e nice. that is the E120 by Eashin with optical flow on the bottom. Optical flow. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that nice. is that's detailed. Well, that's you guys it. all get to fly it. I have oh, two batteries. So it flies for 15 minutes per battery. Yeah, so uh, big exhaust. <laughs> oh yeah. Did the exhaust work? Look at the remote. So here's here's our normal size remote. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this thing. Okay, Jacques has got it going here. So you're in full speed forward. When you turn it around with the wind, it's gonna boogie. So we want to try it next. There we go. And yeah, go on up. Go. You're in full speed. Yeah. There's the wind now. Can you yeah, can you okay. control it, Steve, in the wind? Uh, you know, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. It is one of the nicer looking yeah, helicopters at that price range. Job on That's it. for yeah. sure. Yep. Yep. I like it. Yeah. Now the next thing I want to show you is if you buy this helicopter, what comes in the box. So check this out. This is the box your E120 comes in. Opening the box, you'll find your helicopter, remote, batteries, and accessories. First thing you'll notice is how very detailed the helicopter is. I should also point out that it does have a brushed tail motor and it does have a brushed main rotor motor. The included battery will give you 15 minutes of runtime. Total takeoff weight of the helicopter with battery is 99 grams. A four channel remote is provided, but you will have to supply your own AA batteries. Accessories include spare props, a spare tail rotor, a screwdriver, an Allen key, a USB cable to charge up your batteries, and a user manual. So my final thoughts on this helicopter is it's 100% a buy. You will love this. It doesn't matter if you're a pro or a beginner, you'll love this helicopter. It's so easy to fly and it looks so good. Just put it on the mantle. If you're a pro, put it on the, your mantle with all the other pro helicopters you have. And then people will look at it and think it's pretty cool. And if you're a beginner, well, do the same thing, but also take it out and fly it around and enjoy it. Cause it's a lot of fun, especially since it flies for 15 minutes and has the optical flow on the bottom and the cool little blinky lights for flying at night. All right, guys, links to this product are below. Go check it out there's probably a discount code as well so you can save some dollars check that out make sure you enter it at checkout when you leave the store and with all that said i say if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you in another video with really cool rc products until then i say bye